On this day of recognition of Martin Luther King Jr., cities and towns across America are holding celebrations in honor of this civil rights pioneer. Hallelujah. At the South Branch Library in Lorraine, the Body of Christ Church is celebrating his legacy. We are able to live together and thrive together. It means a lot today that Martin Luther King did not die in vain, that he did actually stand up for something, and that because of his walk, I'm able and my children are able to benefit because of his dream. And, 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 I, and, and it, it feels good. Hallelujah. Reverend Rodney Thomas reflects on the meaning of MLK Day as he gets older. It's meant more as I've become older because just understanding the struggles a little better and uh, just having the sense of now I have a responsibility to act, you know, as a good citizen, as a contributor co to the community, you know, act in a way that shows dignity to not just, you know, my race, but every race. So, you know, it's just, uh, I think I have more of a sense of, I have to contribute more as I get older. I remember being so mad at my mom. Shyla Bush tells a story. We're, I'm telling a story of a mother. Strong black woman. A mother who had children, their children had children. I couldn't even begin to imagine before I get to school having crowds of people stopping me from getting there. Even as myself, as an individual, I must do better. On this day, in a library in Lorraine, Martin Luther King Jr. has touched the lives of many. The dream has been fulfilled. Uh, to where I'm able to say that my children do not have to only dream of being just simple doctors and lawyers, but they can also dream to be the next president if they want to.